What's up, guys? You know, sometimes I like being me. It's not often, you know, but being an asshole sometimes pays off. Especially when upper management gets a hold of you, but you know there's a Karen on the way, and I can do with her as I please. I questioned it at first and said, are, are you funning me? Because you know I'm about as caustic as battery acid. And he goes, she's a self-entitled bitch, hasn't bought a thing from us, not even a car. It's The car she's in is used. Oh, really? Um, honestly, we don't want her around here. She's just that toxic. Done deal. Sure enough, this bitch walks right up to the front counter where I'm working and, you know, decides to introduce herself. I am Dr. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And proceeds to give me a laundry list of shit she needs for her car, which really pissed her off when I sent her outside to get her her VIN number, since I don't have anything on file, so I can't look anything up. Because some of the parts that I was looking for were specific to that particular car. Not just, you know, generic parts like, you know, pads, rotors, and stuff like that. Anyways, I digress. Uh, I get a laundry list of parts that she keeps insisting upon herself, you know. She's, you know, every other word out of her mouth was doctor. Call me doctor. Doctor this, doctor that. Every time she asserted herself like that the price of the parts went up a little bit. What should have been maybe a $4,500 ticket ended up being close to $9,000 by the time I was done with her. She even got mad on the because on the quote, I did not put doctor in front of her name. Are you kidding me right now? I didn't put doctor on the fucking piece of paper. And she goes, well, how soon can you have these parts? It says, I won't. She goes, wait a minute, what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, let me say it to you again in English. You don't get the parts. And she looks at me and she's like, excuse me? I want to talk to the manager. I'm tapping the sign, ma'am. No, that's doctor to you. No, I don't believe in Western medicine and big pharma. I am the manager. And I'm telling you, you don't get parts. Ever. She goes, what? You see, acting the way you do doesn't entitle you to shit from me. And treating people the way you do, it's a wonder, it's a wonder nobody's giving you a fat lip. You're lucky I don't hit women. Oh my God, you, you're, you're terrible. That I may be. But you see, just like you, I pull my trousers on the same way, and I give everybody the same amount of respect until you tread on me. You come in here all high and mighty, thinking you're entitled to discounts and, and breaks because you're a doctor. Nobody gives a shit about the fact that you're a doctor, okay? I don't see people walking around, you know, retired veterans thing. hey, I'm a retired general. Call me general. Call me general. No. They just say, hey, call me, call me John. Bill or Mary or whatever their name is, but whatever. Who the fuck do you think you are walking around? I'm a doctor. I don't give a shit. I'll bet you you're a quack. She got all mad and I'm like, what's the matter? Is this the first time you've heard anybody tell you no in your entire life? She got even madder. Meanwhile, the owner of the dealership standing behind me, biting his knuckle, trying not to laugh. Finally, she got mad. She takes the invoice out of my hand, which, you know, all it is is just a, a quote invoice, which is good for 30 days. Well, I'll take these part numbers. I'm going to call another dealership. Go right ahead. I double dog dare you. She moseys her way out of the shop. He's losing his mind laughing at this point. He's like, you have a, a masterful way of handling what he says. See, I've developed a skill. I hate people. 
and I know how to deal with them. And I know what buttons to push and when. It's fun. You should try it. And, uh, he, he, I start continue talking. Meanwhile, I'm dialing a phone. And he's like, what are you doing? I says, well, I'm calling every dealership in a hundred mile radius. This bitch doesn't get parts from anybody. He's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, no. So I called around. There isn't a dealership in 500 miles that's going to touch this broad. See what happens when you're a dick to the people who are supposed to be helping you? Anyways, um, the moral of the story is you can always catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Don't be a douche. <laughs>